Okay, so coaching session with David. Let's dive right into it. You picked up a tier. I like that. Yeah, are you on stream? No. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just recording it. I'm just recording it, but not streaming. Okay. So some of your your thought process. You you got rich here, so you bought everything, right? Yes. Uh, did you think about selling the Wukong as a tier? Yes. But maybe next time. Maybe you will play him. Okay. So my yeah. My rank now is a uh, diamond uh, three. Diamond three. Okay. It's definitely Garen. Yeah. And that's yeah. You definitely want to play. I mean, for for your for your comp, you definitely want to play vanguards and Fiora. So let, let's see if you. That. Okay, blue buff. Okay, so. You should probably scout before you level up to know if you are strong enough right now. And what are you positioning for? Okay, pause the video, please. So, you haven't looked at anyone else. Why not? It's the first time. Yeah, but you, you need to look at every person and decide how to position. So, like, uh, if you want to be on the right, if you want to be on the left, uh, like, for example, here, I think you could maybe sneak into the back, actually. If your Fiora was all the way to the left, and uh, something was all the way to the right, then you could probably walk around the Garen. But okay, you want to kill the Garen, so you want to. Okay, so the, now your positioning is fine. For this round, it's fine. Yeah, you can play. You can play. But for for this round, it's fine. But you you should really think about like how how you want the fight to to unravel. And also, why didn't you make any items? Uh, I don't know. I don't like uh, pushing items on the first round. You need to. If you want to win, you need to do that. You need to do it. So it's either blue buff or hand of justice. Blue buff for um, what's her name? Mermaid. Yeah. Oh, wait, you have Enlightened. Okay, so you shouldn't be playing Nami at all. Uh, you should put in Garen over Nami. If you put in Garen over Nami, you get Vanguard. Right? Yes. Because Fiora is chosen Enlightened, so you, you don't get anything from, from the Nami. And the Garen would give you Vanguard, so you'd have more synergies and you'd be stronger. And since your Fiora is the carry, you should... Maybe consider putting Hand of Justice on her. Because look, he, he has Hand of Justice on his Yasuo. So the Yasuo is doing a bit more damage. And I'm pretty sure if you have Hand of Justice here, you win this. Because it's very, very close. Right? Yes. So if, if you like if you want to win the round, then you should you should uh, make items. Definitely make items. Even if I get a locket on the first round. Okay, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, pause. Pause, please. Um. Uh. What do you mean by like locket? You mean, or what? What items? Yes, even if uh, like the item is uh, I have a 
Avest and the BF. No, Avest what? and uh, and uh, Rod. So yeah. And I make a lock up on the if, first round. If you have a two star champion, yes. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. So think, think about, think about items that can be played, right? Like normal items. Blue buff is played, and hand of justice is played. It's not like they're not terrible items. So, yes. like, decide if you want if you want blue buff or hand of justice, like based on the competitions you you usually play, and then make one. Okay. That that's very important. Like if you, because now you are you are losing, and uh, maybe I would consider. Wait, you had four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, how much is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so if you sold the Yasuos, the Fiora, and the Namis, and put in Garen, and did not pre-level, you would have nine gold. And if you win the round, you have ten gold. Because okay, are you like why did you pre-level here? What 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 does pre-leveling do for you? It uh, gives me the option for uh, level uh, four as champion. Okay, uh, but okay, so why? And what yeah, what what does that do for you? What does the four cost champion do for you? Uh, I can uh, build items on him and uh, get the direction of what I'm going. What kind of build? Okay, okay, but uh, in general you get stronger, right? If you find a forecast champion. Yes. Do you need to get stronger right now? Yes. Okay, not really, because you are lo losing, so you can continue losing. Right? Like, you are not losing too much HP, so the right way to do this is okay you you can have both of the options you you leave both options but definitely here it's garen you do you agree with me that you should play garen over nami you understand why yes okay for vanguard and if you have garen in there and you have two namis and two yasos on your bench and you win the round you can sell everything and you're at 10 gold if you don't win the round maybe you can pre-level if you want to pre-level but like this, you you are pre pre leveling, and maybe you get stronger, and maybe you will win the next round, and you will you won't have a streak. So you should think about your streak if you are going to win streak or lose streak. Do you ever consider that? Uh, not much at the start because uh, streaking is uh, I've been told not very important. No, it's extremely important at the start. At the start, it's very very important. Because at the start it doesn't hurt. If you lose, if you lose these five rounds, the first five rounds, it does not hurt. You maybe get to like 68, 66, or 70 HP, which is not bad, and you get a lot of gold. So just just consider that like if you are, you should not lose uh, on stage three. Like on stage two, you should you should stop losing, but on stage uh, two you can lose. You can lose all the way if you if you have a bad board. And please, please, please scout. You should scout whenever you have extra time. Because you need to know what other people are doing. Okay? Yes. Yeah, let's continue. Because like you don't like you don't know how to position this because oh wow. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay. So he has something similar, but he has duelist as well. So he will probably beat you if Galio decides to come down. Yeah, Galio came down. So this is really good. Like you are still losing, but not losing too much HP. This is really, really good. And you are first pick on the carousel. So can you can you pause, please? Pause. So uh, what item do you want from the carousel? Before you see the carousel, what is what is number one item you want? 
Uh, so. Sword. Yeah. And why? Uh, for uh, Infinity GA. Uh, okay. Giant player. Okay. You want a sword so you can make Zeeks? You want a sword to make Zeeks or you want armor to make uh, Sunfire Cape? Because, okay, the, the easiest way, you said you're in diamond. So the easiest way to get a master is if you just make any decent item. If you just make items, you will get to master. Trust me, if you just make items, you will get to master. I've been in master uh, two seasons. And, and did you... Did you make items or did you play the same way and greed? Play the same way. Uh, but that was uh, that was uh, season three, right? Yes, in season three point five, I've been yep. uh, master. But this this time, they have, people have chosen. People are stronger. Yes. So if you don't make any items, you are a lot weaker compared to galaxies. Because in yes. galaxies, maybe someone has a two-star unit. In fates, almost everyone has a two-star unit because almost everyone has a chosen. So, like, the power level is higher. And if you don't have very good units, you can make up for it with, uh, with items. I see, but uh, I want to, to get to Grandmaster and Challenger. Okay, I, I do the same thing. I do the same thing in Challenger. I don't know if, if you watched me yesterday. I got uh, about 200 LP. I went from 670 to, or like 630 to 810. And I did it by making as many items as I can and by making sure I get the top four. And my games were like 1, 5, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that. But. If you lose a lot of HP early, or like, like if you don't make items, you are losing HP. Like if you are doing it on purpose that you want to lost streak, then you should tell me I want to lost streak until stage three, and I will accept it. But if you are just being greedy and you want to make perfect items, that is not the right way to approach the game, because you are trying to make perfect items and you are trying to find the right champions for the items, and it just. Uh, it just makes it more difficult for you if you, you, I remember, you remember you asked me how, about uh, RNG, right? Yes. About ra how random it is. So if you make items and you play anything that can kind of use those items, like any unit you get, then uh, you eliminate the randomness. Like maybe right now uh, you want to get, I don't know, what would be a good unit right now? Uh, Irelia. But if you don't get Irelia right now, you need to be able to play whatever you get. So like, just just continue the video. We, we we can we can watch it. But like, so you want to get the BF sword? So there's two BF swords. You 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 will get it for sure. Or what? Okay. So you took uh, a rod. <laughs> but you want BF sword? Okay. Do you know why you took the rod? I don't remember. <laughs> because with rod you can make Ludens or you can make Jeweled Gauntlet. And I don't think either of those items are good right now uh, for, for your comp. So... I, think, I think I was thinking that I'm going uh, Lightened with Talon. So I want the Morelos to Morgana. Okay, uh, pause the video please. please. Um, that is exactly what you don't want to do you don't want to think on two four or on the first carousel what composition you are going that is the wrong way to play the game like the the right way to approach the game is what am i playing now what am i playing on two five what am i playing on two six not what am i playing on on stage four because if you are playing for stage four you will lose a lot of HP and you might ignore a lot of units. But if you are playing for now, you will keep getting stronger now. Do you, do you see the difference? Like, you want to be strong now and maybe later, if there are, if there are four talent players, 
you will maybe get like one Morgana, one Talon, and never two star them, and you will just lose the game. But if you yeah. make some items now and you just see what kind of units you get, then you can be much stronger. And maybe if you get like bad RNG, if you want to call it that, you can still play what you get, but not like because I, I was in the same mindset a lot of the time. I'm like, where's my fucking talent? I don't have a talent. Fuck this game. But that's that's the wrong mindset. You should be like, okay, I got something else. I will play something else. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So pl please continue. Okay, you have Riven with a blue buff. Riven with a blue buff. So, you said you wanted to... Okay, pause again, please. You said... You want to level up to find a powerful four cost champion, correct? Before the carousel. Yes. You found a ribbon. You can make a blue buff. And you have half of QSS and half of Ionic Spark. Do you like do you understand how crazy it is not to buy the ribbon? Yes. David, David, does, does, this, does this make sense to you now? Like, the game is giving you an amazing four-cost champion, and you already have blue buff, which is not terrible on her, and you're not doing it because you're thinking you want to play Morgana. If this was Morgana, would you buy, would you buy her? Yes. Yeah. But it's not Morgana, it's Riven. The game is like, you know, David, you lost three rounds, Maybe maybe you can stop losing now. We we want to give you a, a really nice forecast. And you're like, no, 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 I don't want to win. So just that's what I meant. Like if you had the blue buff already on, on Nami, for example, you would just sell Nami and put the blue buff on Riven and you would just enjoy your free wins until end of stage three. But yeah, please continue. And also I think you should... Consider playing Lux if you want to win, because Lux is better than a second, than a second Jax. Yes, man. I wanted the uh, Twig one. You want to make okay. So now you don't have the win streak anymore, uh, the the loss streak anymore. Yes. So, what what does that mean? What what does that mean for you? Like, what do you have to do now? Or what should you do now? Since you don't have Lost Streak. Uh, I, I don't know. Save up. Money. Win! You have to win now. Because if you win, you will get extra gold now and extra gold during the, the, the creep round. Okay. Uh, pl please pause. Please pause. Um, you are you are positioning, right? You are trying to move your units, but you 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 need to look at what your opponents are playing so you know how to move them. Yes. Do do you know do you know who you will play now, or like do you know how to find out who you will play? No. Okay, so I can explain this to you. Um. You cannot play the last four opponents. So if you look who you played on 2 1, 2 2, 2 3, and 2 5, you will play one of the three people you haven't played yet. Oh, no, this I know. Yeah. So then you should look at those boards, find out which one is the strongest, and position to make sure that you beat the strongest person. Yes, I do that, but uh, more in the late game. Okay, just just if you know how to do that, definitely do it in the early game as well. Definitely do it. There's there's no reason not to do it. Yeah. I see. Okay, please continue. And I'm pretty sure you lose lose here because he already has a uh, IE, but you don't have any items.
and he already has a, has a belt as well on his on his Garen. Um, okay, I guess you are lucky you are winning because you have six uh, four duelists. Okay, another thing. Uh, buy out the shop. I hope. Yeah, good. Um, another thing. If you don't want to make items, at least use components. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So if you don't want to make an item, at least put the rod on Kalista, for example. And glove on Fiora. So even if you're not making a complete item, at least give like the rod for 15% more magic damage and the glove for 10% crit and 10% dodge. Because like this, your items are doing absolutely nothing. If you at least put the components on, you can do something. Like the, the, the items can do something. Yes, but uh, slamming items is the best, no? Yes, yeah, slamming items is the best, but if you really don't want to slam, at least use the components. That is like minimum requirement. If you, like, if you don't slam, at least put the item with, like, without completing it. Uh, I really like your economy. Your economy is, is pretty good. Um, yeah, this is this is tough. Um, positioning, you haven't you haven't really scouted, so I can't give you much positioning tips because I don't know what you're gonna play. I don't know if there are any assassins in this lobby. I don't know much. Um, this is kind of okay against this guy. Okay, uh, pause the video, please. So why did you make the the blue buff on Fiora now? Yeah, I don't know. Extra boost of power. Uh, sorry for for more power or. Yes. Okay. And why could you not do that on two one? I don't know. I uh, maybe we'll get a champion that uh, this will suit him more and uh, use it. So I didn't get it. So I made it on her. Okay. Because I'm go yeah. I'm going to sell her. Eventually. Exactly. So put it on her on two one. Yes. Okay. Like this. I mean, this was really fascinating with with, with another coaching student I had, uh, who who is in master. He's in in master, like low master. Uh, I think it was last week or yeah, something like that. And I told him, you should make. I don't know. I don't remember the item, but like you should you should make uh, RFC now. And he does. He, he like he doesn't do it for five turns. And then after five turns, he makes the RFC. I'm like, that's what I told you five turns ago. You should have made it. So this is exactly it. I told you make blue buff on 2-1. On 3-1, you realize, okay, I'm making blue buff. So th that's why I'm telling you, just slam the item because blue buff is a good item. And you will want it no matter what. So I'm glad you finally made it. Yes. And again... Um, Locket would not be bad here. Locket would not be bad here. I know you want the rod for Morello, but if you had a locket here, you win this round. I win this round. You cannot. You still win this round? What the hell? That is so, so, so close. So, so, so close. You are insane, bro. You are completely insane. But if it works, it works. Okay, why do you think Fort Enlightened is... Okay, good, you don't think Fort Enlightened is better than Garen. You're... Pause the video, please. Um, you're doing, like... It seems that you want to do something, right? It seems like you're, 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 you're moving your units, you're touching your units, like you want to do something. So instead of clicking on your units, Click on uh, three or one. If you click on three or one, you will look at everyone else's board. You need to get into the habit of doing it. So if you are bored, if you have nothing to do on your round, just always scout. Yes. And it's uh, I think it's one, three, Q, or E. If you click on on those, you will you will just look at other boards. It's very good to learn how to use the hotkeys. 
Um, yeah. Next yeah, thing no. uh, with Garen, you want you want uh, Garen to have more room around him so that more units can be around him when he uses his ulti. Yeah. And look at this. This guy found a Riven. He is using the Riven because Riven is actually good. Here, I'm not sure if Lockett would have saved you. So now you're at 6, 20 gold. Not terrible, but oh, look at this. Okay. So instead of doing that, which is completely useless. I, okay, uh, pa pause the video. Can you, can you tell me what you are doing right now? I'm making a 30. But like, why were you moving the units like that so much? It, okay, pa you haven't paused the video. Pa pause the video. Um, you want to put in Sejuani over Fiora. And... Leave the Garen, I think. But, like, Sejuani is so, so, so good. You want to sell Fiora because... Oh, fuck. You, you sold Irelia, didn't you? No, you no. Two, two star Irelia. You two star her. Sorry, sorry. Um, um, yeah. So, you want Garen and Sejuani here. Fiora is falling off. She is not that strong. Sejuani is... An amazing forecast. Like you are not playing amazing units which you are getting for free. You got Riven on two five, and you ignored her. Now you have now you have Sejuani. Also amazing, amazing forecast. She can stun she can stun everything for two or two point five seconds. I think it's maybe it's two, maybe two point five. But her ulti is amazing. Her ulti stuns almost the whole board. So yeah. Please, 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 especially like on stage two, stage three, try to use any forecast you get. Because I think almost all of the forecasts right now are playable. So, so continue. I really, I really hate that you have four, four unused items, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, next carousel. I guess we take the the belt for Morello. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know what you're working towards, but you should not be forcing it this hard. You should try to make items first and then figure out the comp. Not figure out the comp on on stage two before you, you have any units. Yeah, who who gets the Morello now? Who gets Morello now? This is tough. Uh, the answer is Jax. Jax can use Morello. Because Jax has AoE. Okay, so you decided to put the rod on Fiora. Okay, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted you to do on, on 3-1. Good, good, good. So you, you're doing the right thing, but you're doing it just a little bit late. Okay, now imagine 
if you're going Talon, imagine if you had uh, Fiora as an assassin. Yeah? What do you mean? You can make Fiora into assassin right now. Uh, yes. So, I'm... like, if you, you, you told me, and I can see that you are going Talon. I can see that. So if you are if you know that you are going Talon, make Assassin Spat. It's the wrong like it's it's wrong to force Talon, but if you know you are forcing him, then do it properly. Okay? Yes. Like but I <coughs> always greed for the right item because uh, I I am afraid that if I slam items, I will uh, find myself stuck with uh, bad items on the late game and uh, not uh, not uh, really serious comp to play. Okay, but if you are um, okay, if you are rich and healthy, you can get to level eight and you can find legendary units. You can even two star legendary units, and it doesn't even like it doesn't matter that your items are not perfect. Like, uh, if you don't have enough HP, you are under more pressure to roll down. So you will be weaker. You have good items, but you will be weaker. And you, if you do not find the units you need, you can die. You have to sell that talent, yeah. Talon cannot use a belt. Um, and you should you should have definitely sold Fiora by now, I think. Uh, or, or okay, if you're not rolling, then you don't sell Fiora. Yeah. Wait, did you just roll or no? You did not roll. Okay. Rolled. So glove always goes on Talon. Glove is always on Talon. Yeah, this guy actually rolled down. He has a composition. Um, so why did you make the blue buff? If you are going Talon. Who can use blue buff in Talon comp? Uh, Morgana. No, it's terrible. Mo Mo Morgana wants uh, Chalice of Power or maybe Shojin. You should... So are you go are you going to level eight? This is I mean this this board is, is shit. Okay, you're going to eight. This board is complete shit, bro. This board is complete shit. You cannot go to eight. I think you will lose way too much HP before you get to eight. And then you will be very desperate, and then you will complain if you do not get your comp. You will say there is bad RNG and that it's that the game is fucked. Yes. Uh, no, I never complain. You you wrote to me like. There's Kindred, by the way. Kindred is really good with blue buff, and you also had an Ash in your shop. So like, you are looking you are looking to play Talon, and you are ignoring everything else. That is not, not the right way to do this. Make Assassin's Pad, yeah. If you're gonna play Talon, you can make Assassin's Pad, okay. Morello, yeah, Morello should be on Jax because Jax has AOE ability. So he can hit at least one like he can he hit at least two units, and this guy already has talent, so he's gonna slap you. Yeah, you cannot go to eight. This is like, this is the biggest mistake of the game. You you are you have shit. Like your board is complete shit. You cannot go to eight with this board. That is like the the biggest mistake of 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 this game. Just so you know.
Like you, you have to roll. You have to. You, you should have sold Fiora on four one, and you should have rolled and found uh, Lux, Morgana, uh, Shen, and uh, Pike, I guess. Like you are getting a lot of gold, but you are losing too much HP. Uh, do you, like? Can you tell me why you did not did not roll on seven? Because in uh, seven, I uh, have a low chance of uh, finding uh, focused units. Uh, do you know the hotkey? The hotkey is D. You should be using the hotkey. I have a really sensitive keyboard. I don't want it uh, pressed twice. Okay. You are... Okay, pause, please. Pause, pause, pause. Um, you have zero gold, right? Okay, yes. Um, do you feel comfortable with zero gold? No. No. Good. Good. Correct answer. So what does that mean? Why do you think I'm asking you about this? Because I rolled to zero. Sorry? Because I rolled down to no, zero. No, no, that, that's fine. You rolled down to zero. But, uh, like, what, what does that mean? What do you need to do now? Save my bench. Um, okay. And for, for, your, for your composition? Position. Um, more important than that. What does, um, yes, items, that's, that's good. And, and another important thing, what does your composition need to do now? Win. Yes. And that's why you always pick up the, the Sejuani here, the Fortune Sejuani. You do not have enough gold to find a different Chosen. You sell, you sell the Ashes, the, the Locks, uh, the, um, the Riven and, and the Warwick or whatever. You buy the Sejuani and you play Sejuani. You play Sejuani maybe over, I guess, even over the assassin, the yeah, the assassin, Akali. Like Sejuani is not perfect right now, but she is a very powerful chosen, and you are desperate. I don't know how you like if you understand how desperate you are right now. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand how desperate you are right now? Yes. Okay, good. So next time, you need to buy that Sejuani. And next time, you need to roll on seven. I know the odds are bad, but look at your HP. I don't know what, what happened to the last guy. I don't, I, I don't understand how he died. But other people are at least at 50. So they're at least one, if not two lives ahead of you. So yeah, please, please continue video. But I think you are extremely weak. And you have a Vanguard spat. So if you buy the Sejuani, you can make Shen into a Vanguard. You have two Vanguards. Yep. You should, you should definitely have bought the Sejuani here and make Shen Vanguard. Okay, fine. Fine. You high rolled. Amazing. But you cannot, you cannot expect that to happen. You cannot expect that to happen. Yes. Uh, there's a Janna in your shop. Good. Wait, how many items? You should get four more items, I think. You have no items. Yeah, that's another thing. You do not have enough items. You will get a lot of items on the last creep round. But that makes you even weaker. And the way you play even riskier. Oh, I see. This is extremely risky. Extremely risky. Uh, okay, 
Never, ever, ever, ever roll on creep round, okay? You can you can get to 10 gold. You could have gotten to 10 gold and you could have made interest here. Like, what, what difference is it? What difference is it if you roll now or if you roll the next round? I don't know, save time, maybe. But you are going to roll 10 gold. Are you telling me you cannot roll 10 gold? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go, go back, go back, please. Oh my, what the? You got the Shen again. Never mind, never mind. But you cannot lose that Shen. You cannot lose that Shen. You cannot lose that Shen. That was crazy. Yeah, continue with the video, but. Uh, Lux, there's a Lux here. Yeah, good. Okay, so you have four Dazzler. Yeah, this is this is a good good comp now. So you can make the the GA. You can make a maybe Zephyr somewhere. I would put the Zephyr on the Katarina because you can move her. And you this is you missed a Lux. I don't know why you're rolling this late. You are rolling way too late. And you should put the belt on the Shen maybe. Wow. Go Shen. Lost. You still lost? But why did you put the belt on him? Can you go back? Can you go back, please? Oh, yes. If I put the belt, I gain the 200 HP. Yeah. Right? I see. I see yes. Yeah. Like, you should be shitting yourself right now because... Like how are you gonna to get top four here? The the the, the next like the guy who, who needs to die has forty four HP right now. Um yeah, I think this is GG. Yes, it is. Yeah. Also I positioned very badly for myself. Yep. But it's because you do not have extra health. Because you were too greedy, you don't have extra health. So if you get unlucky, you die. Like if you had if you had forty health here, this is fine. You lose what? You lose nine health here. So that's completely fine. Okay. So I want you to tell me what you learned now, and I can I can repeat some things if you miss some things. I don't uh, scout every turn. That's that's like minor thing. Yeah. Um, not always pre-level. Uh, uh, yeah, pre-level. Okay, minor thing, but big, big things. Uh, big things. Uh, slam items. Items. You need it, like. Okay, like, do you see how stupid it is? Like, you have great items for your comp, but you are dead. So, is it better to have great items and be dead, or have suboptimal items? But get top four. Yes. Like if you make shitty items, you get top you get you get maybe fourth or third. If you make perfect items, you can win the game. But if you make perfect items and you get unlucky like this round you position poorly, you die. And this is like the, the first or eighth mentality. So don't play for first or eighth. Try to play for fourth. Aim to, like, every game, you should try to get fourth place. That is, like, the key goal of the game. I got fourth place. I, I completed whatever, I, like, my challenge. I completed the game. This is a good game. And after you get fourth place, you can start to think, okay, maybe how about I get third place or second place? But the most important goal for every game is how do I get fourth place? That's, that's like, all you need. If you get fourth place every game, you're in challenger. You're you're number you're number one in in I don't know one month. You are you're the best player in the world if you get fourth every game. 
Yes. And that's that's how I played. That's how I played uh, yesterday, on on my main account on, in Challenger. I I told you I got one fifth, and I got like four, three, one, two, three, four, something like that, and I got only one fifth place, because I I try not to lose LP. I try to uh, make I. The way you are playing is extremely risky. It is too, too, too risky. So, yeah. So, yeah, slam items. And you have to roll on seven if your composition is shit. And can we, can we go back to, like, four, one? So that's maybe, like, ten minutes, somewhere around there. Yeah, perfect. So you need to be able to look at this. And you need to know that this is shit. Yeah, you you can pause it here, but like, um, do you do you agree that this board is shit? Or yes. Four one. Yes. 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 Uh, so, like right now, you can just roll a little bit. You sell Fiora, you roll a little bit, and maybe you roll down to to thirty to twenty gold. You don't have to roll to zero, but you roll down to like 20, 20 gold. And you try to find Morgana, Lux, Shen, all of these units. And maybe a better chosen. But by better chosen, I mean Fortune Sejuani. I mean Brawler, uh, Wu, um, Brawler Warwick. I mean like something, something strong. Vanguard Aatrox. Like, you just need to find something you can play now so that you can get to level 8 and you can find something better later. Because you skip, you skip mid-game. Like, you played early game, you're pretty good at early game, but this is mid-game. But you're still playing early game. Right? This is, this is your early game, but it is now mid-game. Everyone else, especially this guy, he has a mid-game comp because he rolled down. And he will slap you like a little bitch. Right, you can you can you can watch this. This was very like this was a very good uh, this was a very good indication of my point. Like, look at this. It's it's not not even close. Like, I, I don't know if you even like touch anything. Like, yeah. And that's basically your stage four until four four, and then it's too late, and then yeah. So very important. Stabilize on seven. Yeah. Yes. Um, do you have any any questions or anything you'd like to say about about this? No, not yeah? specifically. Okay, and also also buy good units, buy Riven, buy Sejuani. You're offered very good units, and you just ignore them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's dive into the next video. Uh, one second. Yeah. No problem. I will just make sure that I'm recording everything correctly. Looks like it. Looks like I'm recording everything correctly. Great. Sometimes I record the wrong screen or the wrong scene, and then you don't see anything. But now, recording the correct thing, so I will be able to upload it to YouTube for you to watch over and over, just to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, it says the stream has ended. Is No, that's... Yes, yes. Okay, okay. One second. Oh yes, it is. Okay. So I hope this game you are not trying to force talent. No. Okay, good. Because if you force in this game, it like. I know some people do it. I know some people do like force it, but it's it's never good to force. Wait, do, okay, okay. Good. Good, good, good. So one master player, two one master player, diamond players, okay. So this should be an easy lobby. Because no offense, but most people, even in master, like low master, they don't know what they're doing. They make so many mistakes, so the game should be very easy if you if you play correctly. I see.
Did you get the sword? No. Oh. I got a chain vest. Chain vest, that's good. That's good as well. I think yes, I vest, vest might be... Oh! <laughs> I already swore to you. Great. So this was today, the, the game today. Okay. So chain vest is really good because you can make sunfire cape, GA, and bramble vest. Those are like very good items. Is there anything here? Yeah, stone plate is kind of okay. Wow. So you you get a lot of gold. Last game you got a lot of gold as well. Yes, I don't know. Never happened. Okay. Uh, pause the game, and I can tell you some advanced concept. Do you want some very advanced concept? Yes. Okay. Here, you can just play Yasuo, and if you get two gold, you are at ten gold. Should I no. re repeat it, or do you understand? No, I I got it. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can play like you just put you buy Yasuo, you put Yasuo in, and once the round starts, you buy the shop. And if you get two gold from the creeps, you sell everything. You get ten gold. It you 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 like the advantage you get is so insane. If you have ten gold on one three or one four, but, like but the it puts, sorry, it, puts it by itself. It will what? It will put the unit by itself. Not uh, will not let me play on the as one. It will. If you do not buy the units before the round starts, then you will not. Oh. Then they will not get played. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I I know Yasuo can do it. I'm pretty sure Tom Kench can do it, and I know Diana can do it. If you make her jump on the range creep, so if you put her in the left, she will jump on the range creep and kill it. So it's it's good to know who can solo solo the creeps. That's a, like some advanced trick to just get a, a crazy amount of gold. No, no, you would be at 10. You would be at 10 gold now. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Please, please, please. Go back. Pause. You have 10 gold. Yes, I have 11. No, 10. Why did you not insta sell this shit? I don't know, maybe. Akali is strong. Uh, whatever, but this is 10 gold. Like, if, yes. you ha if you have 10 gold now, you get 1 gold interest, which means you can get to 20 gold by 2-2 two, two for sure. Yes. Like, early gold is completely insane. If you have this much gold early, you can get to 50 gold by Krugs, and you just sit on your, on your uh, like, I don't know, can't come up with anything, like, Mountain of mountain of gold, and you win the game. Like the sooner you have fifty gold, the sooner like th this game is very like uh, very uh, e economically oriented. So the more gold you have early, the more gold you have late, and that means you can level up faster. You can roll down more. It's just gold is so so important here. So if you can get to ten gold, just just do it. Yeah. So just yes. remember that, like 10, 10 gold is, is too good. It is too good. I would I would still sell the Akali here, by the way. Just uh, just to make interest. And you should de definitely try using the hotkeys more. Like you have so many options here. I, I like the options, but having more gold is, I think, in my opinion, better. Okay. No way, no way, bro, 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 bro. Please tell me this is not your board. Please tell me. Oh. 
Oh shit, okay. Pause the video. Can you tell me what is this shit on your board, please? I don't know. Can you tell me what should be on your board instead? Uh, maybe border and uh, duelist. Uh, duelist, no. You, you like Akali and De Akali Diana are fine. And Tom Kench over uh, Yasuo. No, no, no. It should be Wukong and Garen, man. Oh, chosen Wukong. Of course. But it's he's divine. So you have a Garen. So you have divine and you have Vanguard, and you have assassin and you have ninja. Yes. I guess you 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 haven't read my my uh, chosen tier list yet, but divine Wukong is definitely worth buying for stage two. Especially if you can put in uh, another Vanguard, which you can. So this is this is so far from your strongest board, so 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 far. Like brawlers would be a little bit better, but Wukong and Garen, especially, it's not even like it's not important that it's divine Wukong. What is important is that he has uh, more damage, more HP, and he's two star. So it's it's the two star thing. He's a two star unit. And what can you do? Like what what is the next thing you can do or you you, you will do? From now on, once you buy the Wukong, put Garen. Uh, sorry, put. Wait, what did you ask? Um, okay, so in your next game, yes, you will one hundred percent buy the Wukong. Yes. 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 And what is the next step? Like, if if you have Wukong, Garen, Akali, and Diana on the field, what else do you need to do? Uh, 10 gold. Uh, I don't think that can happen. So what? Lock it on Wukong. Yes. Yes? Yes. And tell me, if you have lock it on Wukong, which is 375 times by 4, 1200, 1500? I think, no, 1450. You have 1450 extra HP, you have 2 star Wukong, 2 vanguards, Two assassins and a ninja. How do you lose, like until until uh, stage two seven? How do you lose until Krugs? I don't think you do. I see. Yeah. Yes. And that gives you, you 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 stay at hundred HP. You have five win streak, and you are you're chilling. You are completely chilling. So yeah, please play the like this is this is why I like doing vods because I need to explain to you. Why what you did is is like, yeah, I guess completely wrong. It just sorry, but it's it's completely wrong. Yeah. I see. So you don't have gold. You have a weak board. You don't have a chosen. And yeah. You still beat this guy. I wait. Oh my god, this is this is so close. Okay, uh, just pause the video for one, one quick second. One quick second. Um, is it good that you beat this guy uh, like this? No. Uh, why not? Because now I'm uh, ping-ponging. You're not ping-ponging, you just won the first round. Yes, but I will because uh, I'm weak. Okay. Um, but why is it important that you win with more units. I don't know. To hurt him. Yes. That is the, like, the way you get top four is by doing a lot of damage to your opponent so they die before you. I think that's one, like, one huge mistake. One, one thing I learned when I was, when I was playing in, like, uh, Master and Grandmaster, and once I started to getting into like Grandmaster and Challenger lobbies, they were doing so much damage to me. Like they would level aggressively, they would play really strong boards. And I would not lose by one unit, I would lose by four units. So I won't take two damage, but eight damage. 
Like, he is weak. He's level three. He has some shit on his bench. Make him pay for it. Smack him hard. That's why I want you to make the locket. I want you to buy the Wukong. Because you, you don't only want to win. You want to make sure you do as much damage as possible. Because then this guy will have to panic. You know how you were like panicking and how you died on 5-2 last game? You want yeah. that to happen to him. You want that to happen to every, like, every one of your opponent. You want them to like panic. You want them to have low HP and you want them to die. So you are like being very nice to him. You're saying, okay, you take two damage. No problem, bro. Like, no. You take eight damage and you're going to die. So that's kind of what you want to tell your opponents. Like, I try to do as much damage as possible. That's why I, I scout almost every round. And I try to make sure that I can hurt people as much as I can. Because if I manage to hurt them a lot early, even like, I know, like you said, uh, you, you, you want to have uh, good units and good items in your late game, right? Yes. But what if you have good units and good items in your early game? And in the late game, you're already top four. Because you did so much damage to everyone you played that they just died. So then if you have a, like a shitty locket or some shitty Zeke's or like items that you don't think are that good, but you're already top four, you don't care. Right? Yes. So like if you do more damage early, if you are strong early, then late game is no longer a problem because you're guaranteed to be top four. You have enough HP and everyone else is dead or like half of the lobby is dead. So think about it that way. So not only... How do you like uh, stay stay healthy, keep winning? But how do you do as much damage as you can to your opponents? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Please continue. Holy shit! Okay. Oh man, you, you have to read my tier list. Moonlight Diana is the, okay. It is the best unit in the game. Like the best. There we go, there we go, that's good. That's fine, that's fine, very good, very good. And imagine if you actually scouted and you put Diana in the right corner. Yes. Again, much easier win. I mean, here, okay, you still think you still win by, nope. You win by two units. You could have won by three. So. I sold Diana at the end. Oh, why, why would you do that? No, I... no, 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 okay because of that okay please pause and tell me what what the hell you're doing uh, i thought because i already leveled up to four and uh, got the diana the only for a few rounds and i uh, will go ballers and ash okay if you get diana even if you're level to four you can just chill out and slow slow roll on five so don't like stop leveling. Uh, what is the most important thing if you are playing Diana? Uh, free star. That, sorry, sorry. That... Make your free star unit. First item, or well, oh, three star. Sorry, so yeah, three star. Um, um, yes. But what is like right now? If you want to play Diana, what is the most important thing? Uh, assassin. Uh, okay, sure. But even more important than that. I don't know. Scout the lobby and make sure no one else is playing Moonlight. Oh, yeah, I did it. Somebody is, is playing Moonlight. Okay. Okay, then you make the right play. Then then you don't play Diana. You only play Diana uncontested. Yeah, good. Sorry about yes. that. Yeah. So you only play Diana uncontested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why did you pre-level again? You can make you can make ten gold here so easily, if you hadn't pre-leveled. You really don't like gold, man. You really don't like gold. 
Yeah. Okay. So you pre-leveled. You're on a win streak. This is good. You better pick up the the forecast you get right now. If you get another amazing forecast, you better take it because if you're pre-leveling to get forecasts, but you don't take them, then it is completely pointless. So that's like very important thing. Like if you pre-level to get a forecast, you have to take the forecast. Yes. If, if you can, if you can use it at all. Um, right now, what do we want? We have armor and we have a rod. We have belt. We're getting belt. Awesome. Belt is good. You can make sunfire or you can make uh, morel. Very good. Very good. Okay, this board is completely insane. Completely insane. Very nice, you're scouting. You are scouting. Good. He's level five as well. But I think you're still stronger. Yep. And this is what I meant. You're doing you you're do, you're going to do eight damage to him, which is really good. It's really good that you do more damage. And you saw the Inas. perfect, perfect. Casio, okay. Again, yeah, here you you can hold a no, 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 no. Uh, why do you put it in the mystics? Let's let's do some math. Pa pause the video, please. Let's do some math. Oh yeah, I realized I could uh, have the uh, thirty econ. Uh, not even about econ. Econ is econ is one thing, but uh, why do you think the mystics help you here? What do they do for you? Give me magic resistance. Okay, how much magic resistance? Uh, 75. Is it 75? I think it's less than 75. Um, let's let's find out. I think 50 maybe. 60. It's 40. Oh. 40 magic resistance. Yeah? Yeah. We get 40 magic resistance, and uh, you lose, how much HP do you lose? What do you mean? Okay. So four brawlers gives Maokai uh, 400 HP, Silas 400 HP, um, Bai has, I don't know, like 700, like 1500 HP, and Tom Kench has 1500 HP. So effectively, you remove, what is that, 4,000 HP from the board? You, put, you take away 4,000 HP from the board to get, to get Mystic and uh, maybe like 1,000 HP. So you look like, and Mystic gives you 40%. So if Maokai has 400, 400 more health, it's basically like he has Mystic. It's the same thing. But Bai and Tom Kench are also tanks. So right now, not only can you not make Econ, but you made your board extremely weak, or like a lot, lot weaker right now. Because, like, um, do you, have you heard of effective HP? No. So effective HP is... If uh, if Maokai has 2,000 HP, and uh, I think it's 17%, so 
But let, let's just say let's just say twenty percent. So two thousand HP, twenty magic resistance. If someone does uh, one thousand damage to him, magic damage, how much magic damage does he take? Uh, come again. Okay. Uh, he has twenty magic, twenty percent magic resistance. If someone does one thousand damage, how much does he take? Uh, five times. What? Eight hundred. It's minus twenty percent. So it's like one thousand times zero point eight. The damage he takes from what? From one spell that does one thousand damage. If he has 20 magic resistance, the spell does 800. Oh, yes. Yes? Yes. With the mystics, if he, if he has 1000 like if the spell is supposed to do 1000 damage, I think maybe he will he will take 500 instead of 800. Okay? Yes. So he has 300 HP more against magic. Does that make sense? Yes. So he he can take more magic damage. Yeah? Yeah. What about physical damage? Yeah, that's way better. Uh, no, no change. There's no change against physical damage because you have mystics. But you lose 400 HP. So I'm, try like, I'm trying to explain to you, uh, mystic is very good if there is a lot of magic damage. You have more HP against magic damage because magic will do less damage to you. So you're gaining HP. So if you have 1000 HP, and uh, you get 50 magic resistance, you can take 2,000 magic damage to kill you. I see. But if you have 2,000 HP, you can take 2,000 magic damage to kill you, or you can take 2,000 physical damage to kill you. But if you have 1,000 HP and 50 magic resistance, then you, can, you, you only need 1,000 physical damage to kill you. Also, true damage can kill you. For 1000 h like 1000 hp true damage so just never ever play mystic this early it is not worth it especially if you have brawlers and i i even think you you might lose this round but let, let's find out i don't remember okay this guy yeah this guy is weak so you shouldn't lose it now but you got a lot weaker here Lot, lot, lot weaker. This guy is level four, so yeah, you would win anyway. No, he's level five. Is he? Did he yes. have five units? Okay. Oh, he's but yeah, very weak, very weak unit. The reason you okay, the reason you 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 play mystics with vanguards. Why do you think you play mystics with vanguards? The uh, mystic is a uh, uh, vanguard is a uh, magic armor. Yeah. And then uh, mystic adds up to that. Uh, vanguard have physical armor, physical armor, and mystic has magic armor. Yes. Yeah? So if you have physical armor, and then you have magic armor, you cannot die. Yeah. Yeah. What do brawlers have? Uh, magical armor? No. Physical? No. Ah, they have a lot of HP. Yes. They have a lot of HP, so do, they don't care about physical nor magical damage. They can ignore both. Do you buy the Diana? Please buy the Diana over, over Yummy. I don't think so. Okay. And it's not the best, but you can maybe maybe make uh No, Jude Gauntlet is too specific. I, I don't like Jude Gauntlet. And it got nerfed, so But four brawlers is like four brawlers is so strong. Because four brawlers have too much HP. And in the in the early game, nothing does enough damage to actually like nothing does 3,000 damage. Kill the Maokai. 
That's why brawls are so good early. Because it's just so much HP. But you don't want brawlers in the late game because they don't have armor and they don't have magic resistance. They just have a lot of HP. So, like, if there's big damage or, like, something that does a lot of damage, you can... Wow, okay. Okay. Can you tell me why you didn't buy Morgana and put Morello on her? Uh, because I don't go in this build. Please pause the video. Uh, oh, I need to, like, how do I explain this to you? You go whatever the fuck you get. Can, can you repeat that? Or you don't, have to, you don't have to swear, but, like, what are you going to play from now on? Whatever the fuck I get? Yes. You play whatever the fuck you get. But maybe oh. it's a bait. So you think if you just buy Morgana, make Morello, and put her in, it's a bait. That's all you do. Buy Morgana, put Morello on her. Yes, you can, we can. You can still play anything else. But right now, Morgana with Morello, because you have, you have Sunfire Cape for the front line to get burned, and then you have Morello for the back line to get burned. And Morgana is definitely better than Akali. Especially if you have a Morello or Jeweled Gauntlet, either one. But you can play Morgana and then you can play whatever comp you want to play. But you're getting a Morgana right now on 3 2. That's why you level up. You level up to level 6, to level 5. So you can find these amazing forecasts sooner. So use them. Okay? Yes. Yeah, good. Or even like Morgana over over Yummy, for example. Why is Yummy actually okay here? Do you know Do you know what Yummy's ability is? I don't know why they why I put her. Maybe she's healing. She heals percentage HP. So with Brawlers, Yummy is amazing because she heals a percentage of their HP. Wait, someone, you, you're streaming as well? No. I'm recording, I'm not streaming. That was a weird sound. That is usually if, if I get a follow on, on some platform, but I know I'm not streaming. Um, okay, I guess. But imagine if you had Morgana there. Imagine if you had Morgana there in the last, uh, last round. You definitely win that. Right? Yes. Oh my god, Riven. Yes. Yes, you're playing Riven. You get Riven, you play Riven. And what should you be doing with your items? Making them. Uh, and if if not making them, what is the minimum requirement from now on? Components. Yes. Glove on Riven. Uh, rod on Silas. Belt on Yami. On uh, on Nunu. Or belt on on Hakarim. You need to put items on on people, or like at least components. Especially if you know you're gonna sell the units. If you don't like, if you don't know what units you're going to sell, then then you put them on the units you know you are going to sell. So Tom Ketch, I think you always sell. Like you don't want Tom Ketch in a late game comp, so you can put. Oh wow, you're getting a cloak on. Okay, please explain this. Uh, because of all all the ballers, I uh, thought I was uh, going ash and. Uh... Wanted to make a rage blade. Okay. Okay. So I uh, just just pause. Uh, what what do you think would have been the best to take on that carousel? Now uh, that the cloak and the megaonic. 
Um, the cloak is the right answer, but why the why why the cloak in particular? Why why this carousel? Because of Warwick. Yes, Warwick. You would have six brawlers. You would have six brawlers, okay? And that's another like six brawlers. That's another six times four hundred. That's two thousand four hundred HP more. Like it is, brawlers are so so powerful on stage two and stage three. On stage four, you want to start getting rid of brawlers, but stage two, stage three, they're immensely powerful. So if you can play a lot of brawlers, then you play them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Good. Um, you take out Silas here, for example. You shouldn't take out the pony. You will lose the round. The pony is too good. And you don't need to sell everything to... Like, you could have just kept everything on your bench. You are way too... Like, there is no reason to sell everything in pre-level, right? You can just keep your bench. Yes. I mean, I guess you're not... Like, but Janna is not, not terrible. I know you had Janna on your bench. This is, again, way too close. This is an unnecessary risk, and if you were in a higher ELO lobby, they would not let you win like this. Because what are you going to do now? Now you have no Chosen. You should, you should, try to, like, you should aim to sell Chosens before Creep Rounds and before you roll down. Okay? So, like, right now, it's very unlikely you get another good Chosen. Or, like, it's very unlikely you get a better Chosen than Hakarim on 3-5 or on 3-6. So you should keep him until Wolves, then you sell him, and then you roll. Um, so you said you're playing Ash, right? Yes. And you said you want to make uh, Rage Blade. Yeah? Yes, Rage Blade? Yes, yes. So why does the Vigar not have Rage Blade? Uh, you would win this round if you put Rage Blade on the Vigar. 100% win with Rage Blade on Vigar. You, you know, I, I, I mean, I know you don't have an answer. I know you don't have an answer, but like, if you're going to play Ash, if you want Rage Blade, then put it on Vigar. Yeah? Yes. And what else could you have done in that fight that you didn't do that you need to start doing? Uh, scout. No, no, no. Like right, like right before you lost. No. Belt. You had another belt you can put on. 200 HP. Uh, yes. I know it's cheesy, but you can. No, no, no. Okay, here. Okay, here it's fine. Here it's fine. But uh, you shouldn't have sold the Hakarim. Okay, p pause, please. Please pause. Um, I need to explain this, this concept to you. Um, if you are not going to roll, do not sell your Chosen. Right? Yes. So you sold the Hakarim, and now you don't have a Chosen. So I, th I think Hak Hakarim is better than Vigar. Two-star Hecarim is better than one-star Vigar, especially chosen Hecarim. And if you are, like, if you plan to roll on seven, you sell the, the Hecarim, you level to, like, you roll, level up to seven, and then you roll down. If you are planning to go to eight, you keep the Hecarim until you get to eight, and then you, then you sell and you roll down. But you should, like, you should almost always have a chosen on your board, because chosens are really good. So almost always have a chosen if you can have one. So for next time, don't sell him unless you are planning to roll and find a better one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good. For fuck's sake, make some items, man.
Yay. But aren't you don't you want to play Kindred with with uh with Ash? Uh, no, this time I went to eight waters. Uh that's that's it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not. But I don't know why. Uh, so every everyone in the lobby has a, has an ash, and I panicked. Okay. So there's a Morgana in your shop. You ignore it again. So if people are going your your comp, what does that mean? I need to roll. You know, you need to go a different comp. Yeah, right? but isn't it too late? Pivot? No. Have you I rolled? Think... Have you rolled? No. So it's not too late. You level up, you roll down, and you play something else. Whatever you find. Like maybe you find Ash, maybe you find Brawlers, maybe you don't. And if you don't, then you need to adjust. Because from the early game, this was guaranteed top four, maybe like top two. From your early game, from your early game advantage. Yes. Again, you you are leveling up too much, like you're leveling up too fast, and your board is very weak right now. That's why you're starting to lose HP. Because this board, it's amazing on 3-3, three, three, but it's kind of shit on 4-3. And your board has not changed. Everyone else's board has gotten a lot stronger. Your board is the same shit as on 3-3, three, three, or almost the same shit. Because now the brawlers are slowly dying, but you don't have enough damage, so the brawlers die and he kills you. And you're bleeding again. You're bleeding a lot. Yeah, that happens to me quite often in the mid game. Yeah. Pause, pause right now. Pause, 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 pause. What do you need to pick up here? A BF. Yone. You can get a Yone. He's the best 5 cost legendary by far. Best legendary by far. They left you Yone as Yone as second pick. You get Yone and you and you win the game. Um what is I don't know if, if you if you've uh, seen my my recommendations of compositions on tw on my uh, Discord have you have you read them yet? Uh, no, I don't uh, really good in the in the, in the chats. Okay, uh, uh, just just go to on Discord. It's in, in compositions, um, but i guess i it's i mean there's no point asking i should just tell you like uh do, do you do you know of any build that's better than than brawler ash yes what is the what is the build uh, nami is better nami no 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 nami is not better uh, but, but with ash uh, there's an ash build which is better than brawlers uh Elderwood. adept Adept, yes. adept hunter. Ah, uh, uh, yes, adept hunter. I know. Kindred the uh, freak star. Yeah, you have kindred. You have a Yone. You maybe maybe you can get a Shen, an Ash. So here it's always Yone, always always Yone. He is the best legendary unit. I see. And that's the thing. Like you're thinking, I need an Ash item, and correct. You you need an Ash item, but this is more important. This is like. This is the best legendary unit in the game with a tier. I'll take it. I can use I can use him. I can definitely get top four with him. So just just for next time. 
You pick up Yone every time. Yone is too good. Yone, and then it's uh, Zillion, I think, after Yone is the second best. And then maybe maybe Azir and... Um, and then like Azir, Ezreal, and uh, that is kind of okay. But Yone is, is by far, by far the best. It's not, it's not even close. Not even close. I see. So yeah, just, just for next time, remember that he is completely insane. Because he shreds magic resistance, he shreds armor, he has like his execute. You can just make, uh, you can put QSS Rageblade on him. Oh no. You have to take it. Yep. Azir. You have to take that. You have to. Okay, yeah, you got the Warwick. You got lucky there. You definitely got lucky there. And you, Okay, never roll. Never. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, you, you cannot. You, you cannot. Like, there's no point rolling during the, during the round. You're just losing gold. And you can't even buy the you can't even buy the boss. Do you see how stupid that is? Yes. Yeah. So another thing, never ever roll during the round. You will you will never see any challenger player roll in, uh, during the round, unless they are at eighty gold or or like seventy gold. Sometimes if I'm at seventy gold, I will roll, but not if I'm under fifty. I will be back in two minutes, okay? Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you. Just a bit of downtime, waiting for it to come back. But yeah, brawlers are not that strong, especially like stage four, they're already falling off. Stage five, they're useless because they can just get shoot through.
Hi. We are back. We're back. Great. Yes. Perfect. Let's continue. So I can tell you how the rest of the game is going to go. You're going to bleed out slowly to stronger opponents, and you'll, you probably can't even top four with this. Not against your compositions. Yes. And especially not against like compositions in in master or grandmaster. Like maybe some of these opponents are gonna play shit boards as well, so you can beat them. But uh, once people start playing better boards, you won't stand a chance with this shit. Like eight brawlers, they're they're okay, but. You're missing Silas and Vi, or you're missing something. You're missing Silas, I believe. You want to go eight brawlers, but I, I'm glad you have the three hunters instead. Or oh, you, yeah, you already have. Okay, but wait, you should buy the Silas, no? Or eight brawler at least. It's better than yeah. It's better than Vigar. I was not planning this right now. I was more. Uh... More later. So what are you planning now? I don't know really. And you're missing, you missed the Tom Kent, you missed the Silas. You already have two star uh, Warwick. And you're rolling for Ash, which is uh, not available because she's... You get a Yone, you get an Emperor. Cool, Yone is good. Yone over Vigar any day. Nice, very nice. Uh, Yona needs to be, yep, yeah, good. There's a Vi as well. Wait, what is this? Oh, Irelia, nice. Okay, why are you, okay, please pause, please pause. Please pause and go back, go back like 10 seconds. Yeah, you can play here and you can pause right after. So pause now. So, what can you do now? That has an immediate effect. Nothing. What do you mean nothing? What can you still do now to improve your chances in the round? Make the items. Yeah. Making items, you can do that during combat. Rolling is completely useless. Yeah. yeah. Just, just yeah. general rule. Never roll uh, during the round. Like never roll once combat starts. If, if you have like more than 40 gold and you have one life, then you can do it. But don't do it like right now. If you get to 10 gold, you get extra gold. If you, if you roll down to zero, you're just losing, losing gold every round. So now you should be making items. You should make uh, maybe Titans. Titans on set maybe and like a redemption somewhere and a GA probably. But let's see what you make. Yeah. I have you're just rolling down for Ash, I presume, but you're missing. Yes. But you're missing so many things you could have picked up. And if you actually made items instead of this useless rolling, you could have won the round easily. If you had some items, yeah, yeah, you could have, yeah, won won the round. So this this is like priorities. The priority is winning the round. That is your priority. And as you see, other people are going brawler. Pick up the Shen and nice. There we go. There we go. Adept, let's go. Now I kind of wish you still had Kindred. Or four, for four, uh, four hunters or three hunters. Interesting choice. So why why do you think Bramble Vest is better? Instead of Titans, in GA. Oh, okay, because of the other brawl, other the other brawl players. Okay, that makes sense then. Because Janslayer is oh my god, Janslayer is so good here. So Janslayer is usually not an item you make because usually people don't go brawlers. 
But if your lobby has a lot of brawlers, then yeah, it's fine. Ezreal and Lux, Ezreal and Lux over. Oh no. Oh. How can you tell me that Bai is better than, than Ezreal? Because of the synergy, no? No! This is 5 3, man. Like, right now, brawlers don't do a goddamn thing. I see. Like, look at that Jin with a Giant Slayer. He can just chew through the brawlers easily. Boom, fork shot. Boom, fork shot. Disappeared. That arena spinning, spinning. Fork shot. One more fork shot, and set is gone. Yeah. HP. Now HP is useless. That's why brawlers are not good because you don't have Mystic. And you don't have uh, bang like you don't have armor, so you don't have magic resistance. You don't have you don't have physical resistance. And now they do a lot more damage, a lot more physical and a lot more magical damage. Yeah. Blue buff for who? On set. No. I was gonna be proud of you. They got blue buff. Oh man. It's uh, if you want a set item, it's jeweled gauntlet for set, not blue buff. Yes, uh, who gets the blue buff? Who should get the blue buff? Yone. Yes, correct. You know the right answer. I'm glad you know the right answer. And you, sh oh man, so th this is why you shouldn't be going for Ash because you saw that Ash was contested, right? Yeah, and you had 50 gold, you were at. Add uh, four, uh, sorry, four, four, five, fifty gold, level eight. You can play almost anything. Like you will pivot slowly, but you can play. If there are other people playing this comp, it just you're just uh, setting your up. Uh, you're setting yourself up to fail essentially. Because this comp is 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 taken. So maybe you beat you beat each other, or you beat like the other guys who are playing the same comp, but you don't beat the people who are actually playing real comps. Oh, it's not yeah. not it's not terrible. I thought you you do worse, but I mean the the brawlers are really good. If if people are not playing giant slayers, then brawlers are not completely bad, but they're nowhere near as powerful if you had. Uh, Mystic, Adept, more Hunter. Because you only have two Hunters, so Ash doesn't even do that much damage if you had more Hunters. But I mean, it's two star Ash. So, should we do... Yeah, question? What? Uh, should we do a, a live match after that? If you want, sure, we can do a live match. Yeah, so uh, here I'm just getting destroyed for not having uh, Ash level 2. But you don't have Ash level 2 because other people have Ash. Yes. So it's it's like, it's kind of your fault that you play something that is so very contested. And there's a Kindred, which is still better than the Vi, I think, for more damage. And you know that you're never going to roll like this ever again. Yeah. Because you can get to 10 gold and you get 1 gold interest, which is... And you can just roll the same way on 6-1 uh, as now. Just with more gold. Zillion is the best... One of the best legendaries. You should always try to play him, especially with Shen. You'll you get Mystic. Now Mystic is important. Now Mystic is important. There's lots of, ma lots of magic damage. Kindred blue buff. Wait, why would you... Oh man, you had this... 
So why didn't you do this on 5-1 when I told you? I don't know, I just yeah, I just panicked. Bye, bye. Okay, yeah, I guess Talos is okay as well. But look like look at the Jin. Jin is just having fun. You know, Jin is just you don't have any damage. So Jin is just shooting things down. Yeah, and I lost. Yeah. Very nice sixth place. So you need you need to be more flexible. So yeah, let's let's do let's do a live match and then we can end the session. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, or first, please please recap this recap this game for me. What, what do you mean recap? Or like what what are the main things you learned from this game? Oh, uh, be more flexible. Uh, pivot in uh, even the late game. Yeah. Oh no 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 not late. Okay. Like early late game. Like you you. Yeah. It's not even a pivot. It's like you uh, you d don't have a composition yet. So, like, consider the composition you have until you start rolling. Your yeah, your early to mid game, and then like your your mid to late game composition you can you can change, no problem. And yeah, so it's pick up pick up four costs. Uh, and crucial thing, you made the same mistake as in the first video. And that is what? Uh, not make items. Yes, correct. And one more thing? Uh, not roll in the right time. Go into the mid game with the early game comps. Yeah. You need to roll on seven. You need to roll on seven. Yeah. Mo most of the time. Like here, here you actually were strong enough to go eight, which is fine. But then you were just forcing a comp which was which was not available. So if you're forcing a comp that's not available, of course you lose. Yeah. If you just pick up units that are available that show up at your shop, like you had a free Morgana too. You just showed up. So you take the Morgana too. Uh stream is paused. Yeah, I, I think you need to share the, the client. Nice. Very nice. Have you done this before? You see the screen? Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Have you done it before? or? Yeah, then. Yeah, okay, okay. Very good, very good. Okay, this is extremely easy lobby. Because diamond players, most of the time, they, they really don't know what they're doing. Like, yes, they're they're better than, like, platinum or gold, but... They still make tons of mistakes, tons of mistakes, and you can you can capitalize on the mistakes. Um, I guess it's better if you just play and you can ask me questions, or if you don't know something, you, you ask, okay? Yeah, I yeah. Will, I will try not to talk too much, so you play the way you would play, and I, I, I will write notes. I will, I will take notes. I will take notes, and then I will let you know of anything specific, okay? Yeah. Not to distract you or piss you off too much during the game. And I'm here if, if you need me, I will answer anything. No problem. So you are uh, taking it professionally, TFT? Um, I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to. I, I play in some tournaments. I've gotten second in a tournament. I got some money. I got first in a tournament as well. I got some money. So what, what are you trying to get here? A BF. Go, go for tier. Go for tier if you don't get BF. I didn't get nothing. Uh, okay. Nice. Yeah, you can go for tier every time. It's it's usually not contested. And tier builds blue buff. Tier builds chalice. They're all good items. Uh, but belt is not terrible. Um. Okay. Uh, were you planning to get to get something after the sword? Uh, a chain list. And you ran directly from the, from from there to the rest. Yeah. Okay. Just like just make sure you're running through. Like you run through the item and you keep running to the second item you want. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You do that. Good. I take it. Yes. Hundred percent. Yes.
And if you can, you, you buy the Garen. Yes. And the hard key to sell to sell unit is E. So if anything shows up on your bench, just press E. And yeah, I know all the hard keys. I just okay. uh, I don't know. I'm enjoying the mouse. Go 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 go. Um, yeah, you you sell that for Garen and pick up the other. Oh wow, okay, nice. No, it's don't catch. Did you just sell a Fiora? Yeah. You have a Fiora pair. Never do that, please. Yes, yes, mistake. Okay. Are you going to three-star in Italy? Do you want to three-star in Italy? I don't think so, no. So you could have, you sell them anyway, and you buy Fiora, and yet, like now it doesn't matter, but if you had the Fiora, you could have gotten the Fiora pair. Oh my God, okay. Okay, free game. So they, I sell him, yes, by Tom Kench. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I, I would have uh, personally put in Katarina for the Warlord buff, but I think four Sharpshooters can work as well. Yes, it's it's thresh over. Yeah, that's correct. No, um, that's that's close. Yeah, you can you can keep it like this. You can keep it like this. Okay, what do you want the Katarina to do? She's on the correct side. Yeah, Mo most of the people are on the left. And no, no, never put her there. Never put her in the corner. Never ever put her in the corner. You want to put her more in the middle. If if they were on the right side, she would have to walk way too far. I see. Yeah. So never put her in the corner. Put her like always middle left or middle right, but never a corner. But if you were like, she would have to walk way too far. And I think you just barely win this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Did I make the switch? No. You don't have another brawler. Yeah. So... Bresh, I yeah. pre-level. Uh, you can get the 10 gold. Can you get the 10 gold? Uh, if I sell him, yes. Well, Janna is 5, Yasuo is 6. Um, Jax is... Okay, yeah. I guess you pre-level. I guess you pre-level. Oh, you can get rid of the... Okay, and send him, maybe. him and him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go do it. And what is one thing you said you would do but you did not do this game? Make items. Not make items, but put a belt on Garen, for example. Yes. What do you want now? What is the best item right now? Um, wait, what do I have? It's Zeke's or Chalice. Zeke's or Chalice are the best right now. So I think a tier? You're not getting... You might get, if you get the tier, that's amazing. If you get the tier, that would be... Oh, wow. So this... This, this way... You're going to be extremely strong right now. Extremely strong.
Chavez. Yeah, of course. Chalice, okay. who, who gets it? Who gets the Chalice? Oh, I didn't pre-level. Should I level up? Yeah, sure. Level no. up, put in Wayne. Yeah, level up, put in Wayne. Um, Wayne for Dusk. Wayne for Dusk. Oh, yes. And you can put the Chalice on Katarina. It doesn't, yeah, it, it, it buffs your unit. And yeah, pretty strong right now. You didn't have time to scout, but that's fine. And you can sell Jana and Timo if you win. We get the 20 gold. There you go. Look how easy it is in this in this lobby. Yes. Um, also, you should probably put the belt on Katarina so she's a bit tankier. So she can die. Yeah, nice. And now you have time to scout. Scout. Yes. Scout the guys you're afraid of. I think you should maybe be on the right. Maybe. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. We did some scouting. And Katarina should spin to win. Been to win, baby, and there you go. You won. Buy out the shop or sell Garen. I think buy out the shop is the right play. Okay, why do you sell the Akali? That's assassin for your Katarina for next level. Oh yes. Like you need like you need to think what you're doing on stage three. Not stage four, but stage three. Stage three Akali would be very nice. Okay. You didn't get any gold, so it's it's kind of okay. Because now you want to level up and put in Akali, which you don't have. So, that's tough. Yeah, I, so I do. But there's no point leveling. You have nothing to put in. That's why you need the Akali to put in. You could put her in right now. There's, like, now you don't level. Um... <laughs> You can make ZZ Rod on Thresh, I guess. You think? Of course. And maybe put a glove on the Nidalee now. But yeah, if you had Akali, you would level play Akali and you cannot lose this round. So please, please think about that next time. Or ask me if you can sell it. I would have told you no. You just... Did some, some dumb play again without thinking about your next your next round. So powerful. Good. I mean, now you're, you're still going to level up uh, by cannon, maybe, or yeah, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Wait. No. Crash. Uh, Jinx, so you level up play Jinx, very good. Oh, no. why would you, bro, why would you sell Tom Kench? If you lose, you can play Fortune. If you lose this round, you could put, put Tom Kench in for fortune. Oh, but I don't step it up. No, but you would just uh, take out uh, something like Garen, for example, or you take out uh, you take out the unit. 
Like you could just keep lo you could just keep lost streaking, but I guess you're just gonna keep winning now because these lobbies are way too weak, way too easy. So what are, what is your late game gonna be? Um, four shelves, keepers. Whatever the fuck you find. That that's what it is. Uh, no, that's not worth it. You can't play rune right now. Yeah. But you can buy the Kindred and the Timo. Maybe I sell them for week one. Um, you should look at the, the, the second guy. That's the most important thing. You should be... How is that? You can be so weak. This lobby is so easy. Like, nobody's actually trying to be strong here. Just buy, buy out the shop. No, buy. You want Kindred. You, you don't know what you're going yet. So this is just mid-game. You don't want to play sharpshooters. Sharpshooters are, are usually weak. You can not play sharpshooters, but I, I would suggest you don't. I suggest you play something stronger. Do you have a comp tier list in the Discord? Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't think I do have a comp tier list. I, I, I have it somewhere. I know I have it somewhere, but... So I think it'll be if now. Uh, yes, if you can, you take it 100%. Okay. Um, tier. Tier is fine. Yeah, tier is fine. You can just make a hodge, I guess. But I would hold the hodge, and if you have a very strong opponent, make it. If not, then, then you don't have to make, make it. Yeah. You buy the Shen, of course. Um... And you can level up for any. Level up. Level up in any. You just want to get richer, right? You want to win this game. You want to. You want to flex. So. This is how we flex. Should I make that? No, no, no. You're way too strong. There's yes, no... yes. That was just like in case someone would actually have a strong, strong board. And the reason you leveled for Annie is because you're even stronger, and because now you have, uh, you can get a Sejuani. You can get a two-star Yami for free. So we take can that. I? Yeah, we take it. Of course, we take it. We put it over Annie. Yeah. And. How can you make some gold? Yeah, ribbons. You can sell ribbon, I think. I don't like. I don't think ribbons that good. You can sell ribbon, and you can probably sell the the Wayne if you lose, but you shouldn't lose. But it's looking like uh, adept hunter, maybe. <laughs> what the hell, man? How can you not win these lobbies? There you go. So you're you're pretty much guaranteed top four right now. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Isn't this much more fun? Yeah. Don't you feel much better right now? And right now, yeah, you you can go to you can go to eight. You're gonna bleed a little bit on stage four, but you can go to eight. And then you you find like a really powerful cop on eight, and you just win the win the win the whole game. So I go to eight, 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 my chosen. Uh, yeah, you, you this game you're definitely waiting to go to eight, then you sell your chosen, because you're powerful enough. Kindred, Lee Sin. Okay, so now I make. Uh... Morello, maybe.
maybe? Maybe this on Kindred? I think Moreau is better, it's more flexible, no? And Hodge on Holwick, and this on Holwick. Hodge is never bad, you can make a Hodge and put the bow on, on, uh, on her as well. On, on the same, yeah. No, no, Hodge, make Hand of Justice and put the bow on her. So she casts faster. I think you can still win maybe another two, three rounds, hopefully. See, that was the, the damage from Morello, that one that killed the... How are you level 6 with 30 gold, bro? How is that possible? Garen, finally. Um, okay, so you're selling King Zhao and you're buying Pike and Talon. Look at this. So now you can scout the lobby and decide. Do you want to play Hunters or do you want to play Talon? Hunter. Jade. Okay. okay. I apologize, but we're, we're, we're probably going to stick with, with Sharpshooters because nobody's playing them. So, yeah, you should pick up uh, pick up the Teemo engine if you find them. Not a bad loss. Can she heal through this? Fine. You're at 50 gold. So you just relax. Relax. Stay calm. Uh, do we have a fortune? We don't have any fortunes, do we? No. Oh, it's fine. I think sharpshooters are kind of weak, but uh, yeah, you will definitely sell in Italy. Definitely sell in Italy, and uh, you will find some some sort of some sort of comp later. What right now? No, no, no. no. Late, like later, you will. Oh yes. Just so you have extra time, you will do it before the creep round. Okay, you have extra time to find something during the creep round, and then after the creep round, you you figure out what your comp is. Oh, this guy going sharpshooters. Look at that, you still beat him. So you have a guy at 27, 36, 47, 51. That used to be you, bro. I think you would be the guy at uh, 36. <laughs> yeah, maybe 47. Okay, so now I want the... Last Whisper is not bad here. If you can get a glove. Giant Slayer is, I, I guess, okay as well, but you just get whatever they leave you. If they, if you get armor, you get armor. Armor is very good. Armor, it's three cost armor. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Nice. And now just don't do anything, please. You will have uh, eight out of seven. Wait, why, why the Alamo? Because it's on a 5 cost. And because she's gonna be in... No, don't, don't, stop, 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 don't do anything, don't do anything. You will buy the, you will buy the, you can't move, you cannot move. You will buy Warwick and uh, Aatrox after the round ends. Like, after the round ends completely, okay? Not now. Yeah. Have you done this before? Yeah, I know she will be removed. It won't be no, but like like this, she won't be removed. But you don't buy it yet because she, yeah, now it will be now it would, it would screw you over. Good loss. So now buy Warwick and buy Aatrox quickly. Good. Okay, uh, sell, sell the Lilia. And I guess 
sell Lee Sin, he's kind of crap. And buy Sejuani and put Sejuani in, I think. Over, over, yeah, over that. And you can maybe level up for eight. No, 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 never mind. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, you can start, you can put, uh, put it in levels, like, uh, pre, like, 20 gold in levels now. Okay, so I'm gonna let you do this. You have to. You're gonna sell the Nidalee and the Katarina, and maybe put in Warwick and uh, Kindred, and yeah, level up. Don't forget to buy Irelia. Yeah, so that level up. Kindred, Warwick, Ken. Uh, and I no, no no take out sharpshooters. Chen over yeah that and uh, Yami goes over Wayne. And yeah buy a Pike as well. And decide if you want to go Talon or if you want to go Hunter, Adept. What what do you feel like? Just just make sure you're you're buying everything once you're when you're rolling. Yeah. So roll. Not Ari. Uh, yeah, you're buying Ezreal, double Ezreal. Uh, sell the Aatrox, buy other, other Ezreal. That's a Morgana, there you go, GG. Okay, so now what? This. Talon. And Lux over Vayne, Lux over Wayne, Lux over Wayne. Wayne, Wayne. Yeah. Didn't make it. Uh, Morello and Chalice should have been on first. The Hand of Jester should go on Talon. Yeah. Arm. Yeah. G yeah. G A on Talon. And I have on Talon. Very nice. How are these bad items, man? And you're selling. Uh, I guess Garen Jinx. And yeah, nice, 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 nice. Uh, yummy. You sell yummy, I think. Perfect. Stop, uh, stop rolling. Stop rolling. Put in better units first. So put in the Lux. And put in the Ezreal over Wayne as well. Ezreal over Wayne. And Pike over Kindred. And wait, we're missing. Oh yeah, and roll for, for Janna. Go for Janna. Janna over there you go. And Janna over Warwick when you find Yone, 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 Yone. Over Warwick. So Warwick put it on Shen. sure. So you're not even you have so much gold that you're not even like you can't even roll it down. And you're completely owning them. So did we know we're playing Talon? No, we did not. That's how it should be. Holy crap. Buy the Azir, for sure, yeah. Chen, uh, roll for two-star Talon. And Pike and other stuff. There you go. Okay, stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling. Irelia. You're going to go to 9 right now. Uh, buy the pike as well. And you're going to go to 9 uh, relatively soon. You put in Mystic, because you don't have Mystic yet. Oh, 
Uh, so I was there. I was there. Good. Okay, so here I want to look at maybe. Here you're at the mercy of everyone else. Um, I think it's Bramble Vest, to be honest. But yeah, let's see what they leave you. I. They shouldn't leave you anything good. I mean, GA is is very good. Okay. Titans or Locket. I would go for Titans, honestly. But yeah. Yeah. On your name. Yep. Work on your positioning. Your nation not be front front. Like if he's one star, he will he will die too quickly. You want him to be a little protected. Maybe put put someone next to the chalice. Can be be Alan. Yeah. Yone should be like maybe second row to the right or left. That's fine. Like so, he has a good angle of attack, right? Yeah. Look how many items he still hasn't used. Like, what is this? Like, he's completely griefing himself. Uh, bye, Yummy. Bye, Yummy. And you will go to nine after creeps and put in yummy or or zillion or janna tell you the truth i never uh, got myself in the position where i have 80 gold and i roll freely like this but because you were you you were playing you were playing talent before right now you're playing whatever you find and you found talent later and your talent items are not perfect, but they're good enough. And like you have two star Ezreal, you have two star like you cho you have chosen Morgana. You have a Yone cleaning up. Like this is how you should play the game. Slam any item you can, any support item you can. ZZ Rod, uh, Chalice, Hand of Justice. IE, okay, you don't get IE on, on uh, Talon, that is unfortunate, but who cares? Uh, look at the damage tab, damage tab. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe Lux, I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a joke. Maybe Pike, maybe Pike can have it. Maybe on it, no? He doesn't do much physical damage, but sure. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, start pre-leveling, start pre-leveling, and yeah, just make sure you level up. Ivelia two star and roll a little bit, little bit. Buy five cost maybe. No, you don't want. You want yummy, remember? Oh yeah. But you want Janna or Zillion ideally. So keep rolling. Zillion, there you go. There you go. That's your comp. So put it on Yone. And you can sell the boss, Yummy, and I really... I, no, 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 you don't have to sell anything else. It doesn't matter. I guess you buy the boss again. Sorry. No, no, you have you have Lee Sin to sell. Yeah, yeah, you have Lee Sin to sell as well. So you stay at 20 gold. That's fine. You still have extra gold. You still have. I think I would chill here. Actually, you can just chill. Just don't don't yeah. do anything right now. Chill. You can you you need to focus on positioning though. Focus on positioning. Yeah. A lack should be in the corner. More important, I think. And yeah, Azrael can be next to yeah and. You need to make sure you're sniping someone, and Yone not never in the front like this. He will die. Second row, oh, Yone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Like this is usually this was usually me. Like, how is this guy so far ahead of me? And it was because you played the early game correctly. These farts are close. Um, yeah, just chill, just chill, just chill. Zillion. Maybe roll a little bit. Try to two-star Pike and Zillion and Yone and other stuff. Buy five costs and four costs. Pike. Start selling them, yeah. Yeah, you can roll roll to 10, I guess. Yone, there you go. So now I continue to zero, no? Uh, after Carousel, yeah, you can roll to zero. That's bullshit. Oh, you still got him. Nice. Buy Ezreal. Buy Ezreal. They can buy him after Carousel. So what do you need? Uh, maybe. Assassin's badge, 120%. 120%. Yeah, yeah. He denied it. Actually a good player. Uh, uh... <laughs> Ezreal, maybe five costs. I don't know. Yeah, no. You got him anyway. You own A2? GG? You can still roll for, for Shen and for Zillion if you like, but I think you're strong enough. You can just sell the Ezreal and you, could, you should be able to get a 10 gold. Yeah. And Sword goes on Shen, I believe. He does a lot of damage, physical damage. Yeah, good. You moved first. Now you can put it on Chen. You beat him before without two star. Without two star Yone, you should slap him very hard with two star Yone. Well, not very hard, but you clap him, right? You clap him. Yeah, good. So Ezreal and roll a little bit, try to find what you need. Zillion 2, there we go, that's the upgrade we needed. Yeah, you can sell those two and just chill again. And I think it's an easy win here. Uh, position so that you feel safe. How do you position against this shit? Frontline Morgana, frontline Ezreal, frontline uh, Lux. Yeah, good. And Zillion should be frontline as well somewhere. Because he will jump behind you and you will just laugh. Easy game, right, bro? Easy game. Easiest game of your life? Yeah. But I want I want you to tell me what, what you did this game, so that you can do it again next game. Let's see that I sweet see. sweet LP gain. Forty five. Four fifty two. Fifty two. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah. So uh, every item, and uh, the item I took in the carousel. Is item I needed to slam and not uh, exactly? Item. Yeah, you take the item, you make an item. That's why you take the items. Yeah. And uh, positioning. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I learned a lot right now. Just you just have to stay strong. Like that's that's the thing. Like you are playing. And I mean, you, you made small mistakes like selling Akali and selling some things that you could have played. But yeah, you just need to think, just need, like, because I know this was completely different for you, but like, you just need to think, what am I playing in a round or two? 
That's all you need to care about. What am I playing next round? And then stage three and four, you just buy units like you had Warwick, you had um, Kindred, you had them ready, but then you found Dazzler and Morgana, so you played four Dazzlers. But do I buy them even if I don't have Econ? You should make sure that you have Econ. By staying and strong, if... by Econing correctly. Uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can buy them even if you're at like 40 gold, for example. I th still think it's worth it. Because if you what? found if you found uh, Hunter Ash or Elderwood Ash, then you would be very happy for for like uh, you'd be happy that you have the Kindred and that you have the Warwick. I see. So like maybe you felt a little stupid selling Kindred and Warwick and all of that, but if you if you got Ash instead, you'd be very happy. So this is like you're talking about RNG. Well, you get ready for the RNG. You have support units for Ash. You have support units for Talon. Okay, you got Talon or you got Morgana, you're going Morgana. Okay, you got Ash, you're going Ash. And you sell the other ones. That's the, the, the whole idea of playing flexibly. And this was your, your probably your best Talon comp ever, right? And you didn't yeah. even know you're gonna play Talon. I didn't even I didn't even know you're playing Talon. Like it just it just happened. You just found a Talon, you got Daz and Morgana, okay. We we do it. Yeah, so then I play. And then I decide. Yeah, exactly. But you have to be strong. Like um, this was, you were extremely strong. Usually you want to roll at seven, but because you were so 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 strong, you can go to eight. And that's like that. That's optimal. If if you're playing with people who don't know how to play, like in low diamond, they wouldn't like. Some guy was level six. Other guys were just messing around, doing stupid stuff. You capitalize on that. You go to eight. You you clap. You go to nine. You got to nine. When did you get to nine? Five, five, seven, six, one. You got the nine. Yeah. And you like and and okay. So if you hadn't gone to nine, maybe the sh maybe the the Z guy beats you, but you got the nine. You found Yone two, Zillion two. Thank you two. Yeah. This is how you should play the game. This is this is playing flexibly. So if you want to get a challenger, this is exactly how I play. This is how, exactly what works for me, and I'm pretty sure it can work for you. Yeah, so uh, is there any item I shouldn't slam? Definitely. Okay, think about it. Like, what, what items cannot be used? I don't know. Titans? No, Titan can be used. Uh... Like, Warmogs? Warmogs is pretty shit. Yeah. Um, what else is shit? Like, um, Static Shiv is not that good. Ludens is actually okay, but Static Shiv is kind of shit now. Um, like Frozen Heart is, is terrible. Like, yeah. just, you know, item, like, think of items that are just played in any composition. Right? Do you see a Frozen Heart in any composition? Not really. No. Do you see Hand of Justice? Yes. Guardian Angel? Yes. DZ Rod? Yes. Rage Blade? Yes. Uh, RFC? Blue Buff? Uh, Ludens? Uh, Shojin? You shouldn't slam. Shojin is pretty bad as well. Shojin is pretty bad as well, actually. Don't want Shojin. Okay. But you want like the support items like Zeke's, ZZ Rod, Chalice. That ZZ Rod, by the way, won you a lot of the rounds on stage stage three. I don't know if you're paying attention, but the ZZ Rod on, on Thresh was very good. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Would you ever make a ZZ Rod? Um yes, but very specific compositions, not uh, not every term. But it's like just make it. If it if you have belt and bow, just make it. You know, just whatever you get, just make. Yeah. Because I knew, like, I think you, I, I think you knew it as well, right? On three seven, that you're that you're top four already. And isn't that a good feeling when you're hundred when you're hundred HP, level seven, fifty gold, and you know you're top four? Yeah. And then and then you play for first, and then you're like, okay, I I know I'm top four, I can play for first. But not at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, you want to make sure you get top four. Next step, first. I see. Okay, thank you very much, Prince. Yeah. Very You're helpful. welcome, David. If you uh, any other questions before we end the session? Uh, no, I'm quite satisfied. Happy to hear that. So, thank you for choosing me for your coaching. Take care. No problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. So I ended the video.
I ended the recording, I hope. Oh, I started streaming?